Mr. Speaker, I move adoption. Mr. Campbell, send that amendment. The amendment is acceptable to the author. Is there objection to the opposite amendment? And the chair has done. The amendment is adopted. The chair recognizes Mr. Mr. Johnson of Harris. Mr. Johnson of Harris to speak in opposition to the bill. It's not right. you, you want the obvious? The chair recognizes Ms. Niave Criado to speak in opposition to the bill. The chair recognizes Ms. Niave Criado to speak in opposition to the bill. Wait, 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 what? Uh, that's uh, Dade Phelan. He's the Texas House Speaker and Republican. He was presiding over the ceremony there at the end of last week. And people got to wondering what the hell is going on? And some people figured he was drunk. I was a little concerned about bringing this up because I thought he was suffering some kind of medical condition as he's falling over there and can barely say anything. Uh, apparently, it was drunk is the problem. That's what was going down. He's uh, absolutely effed up. They're presiding over what was supposed to be important business for the state. I guess they don't think it's very important. Uh, really fast, let's jump down to this first graphic here because Attorney General Ken Paxton was all over it. And he said, yo, drunk, that's a problem. We're gonna get to how big of a problem that is in a second. But this is what he said. He said, Speaker Dade Phelan should resign, a fellow Republican. How does this work? He says, after much consideration, it's, been, it's with profound disappointment that I call on Dade Phelan to resign at the end of this legislative session. It also said that Texans were dismayed to witness his performance doing this and drunk off his ass. But still, he says he hopes Speaker Phelan will get the help he needs. Sure he does, sure, sure, sure he does. Because apparently he's gonna have to ask for some more help from other folks around. Because by the way, Paxton also wrote this letter to the State House's General Investigation Committee Chairman, Andrew Murr, asking for an official investigation. Yo, Paxton is all over this guy. You guys wanna know why? Let's go to graphic number four here and I'll tell you why. There's also bad blood between Phelan and the Attorney General because there was a very public incident a few months ago where Phelan made the statement to the state government that they should not pay the settlement amount for the settlement that the Attorney General Ken Paxton reached with disgruntled staffers who accused him of misconduct. And Ben, I mentioned this a second ago, I had completely forgotten about this. Apparently there was an investigation into Ken Paxton, the guy was calling for Phelan to resign. Years long alleged misconduct. Some of the stuff he was doing was uh, alleged securities fraud. Also faced a separate federal investigation over alleged abuse of office. Staffers are upset, multiple ones were talking about the things that he's doing. And so now he's coming out hardcore against Phelan today. And Phelan was wondering why today? Well, they're bringing the whole thing up again today. That article that I read that headline from is dated today. So since I forgot about it, which I'm sure other folks did too, He's like, I think I might need to get this heat off of my back and go back to this other deplorable human being who's misrepresenting and also playing games with the people's time in Texas as well. So the battle is now on. But there's one other aspect of this. I want you to respond to this first, this second video here, Ben, because who was drunk again in Texas State House outside of Phelan? Apparently there's more. Let's watch this. Recognize Mr. Guerin to explain the bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Members, this just shortens the deadline for PUC to approve electric project from one year to a half year. I move passage. And I don't want y'all saying that. <laughs> That's definitely some drunk, la some drunk laughter that we've all been there. As a matter of fact, this video was happened. It went down at the end of April. And the interaction was going on like this. But then an hour later, that same date feeling that we started this whole story with hinted that there was alcohol being served when this was happening. Speaker, quote, members, whatever they're serving in the lounge, don't eat it or drink it. I don't know what's going on here today with a beer glass, hashtag Texas legislation, legislator. They're taking their jobs very seriously here, Ben. Let's watch one more before you jump in because I think these are, um, very illustrative. I wanted to know whether you had have been timed on your speed of running down the middle aisle and around and over to your desk last session because I'm pretty sure it was a world record. Do you know what it is that you happen to share with Representative Ana Maria Ramos? I drink heavily. I don't recall. <laughs> Chair, recognize Mr. Leach to explain the bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Members, uh, this issue is relating to um, raising the lower age for uh, juveniles who are in the state's um, care. I do have an amendment. 
The following amendment, the clerk will read the amendment. <clears throat> You're not the clerk. Leach. Amendment by Leach. The chair recognizes Mr. Leach to explain the amendment. Thank you, uh, members. This amendment makes a few minor changes to the bill as filed. First, it makes sure to raise the lower age across all relevant codes by adding the language into the education code, the penal code, and the code of criminal procedure. I said penal code. Well, this is the these are the folks who are passing laws that just lowered gun uh, uh, access uh, to AR-15s, AK-47s, all that from 21 to 18. Um, that continue to take away people's rights, uh, but you know, have a couple shots before you go outside and do that too. JR, I don't blame them. I mean, if you had to make laws in Texas, a lawless place where they're closer to the Wild West than they are to modern life, would you not be drinking? I'd be drinking constantly. I'm tempted to drink one just covering this story. Right. <laughs> I mean, these people are just out their damn minds. And it's a real crapshoot whether it made sense for the Attorney General Paxton to come at feeling like this, trying to divert from his own scandals, or if it just brought more attention like we're throwing him right now to his yeah. own scandals. That's a hard one. You know, you might be forgetting also that Paxson had previously been indicted on securities fraud. That's another scandal he's got that we're talking about right now because he's coming at dude for being drunk. Listen, I don't think it's good to be drunk on the floor of any house job. Most jobs you should not be drunk for except my usual job of stand comedian <laughs> where it is heavily encouraged and you get free drunks and people free drinks, free drunks, free sure? drinks and people <laughs> and people buy you drinks and they get very upset if you don't drink during your work. Other jobs you shouldn't do it, but it ain't as bad as mistreating your staff and it ain't as bad as securities fraud. So, I'd say feeling one one demerit and Paxton, like about 12. Well, I just had, um, this is water, I promise. I bet that's uh, water. Apparently Dade is feeling drunk. I'm sorry, I've had to, I'm, I've been drinking you guys. Yeah, yours um, is water and it's also, obviously it's just a container of water. <laughs> it's quite low, I'm gonna have to point out. I'm gonna refill it, don't worry. No, no, it means it's been- Water and crystal decanter, used. inherited from my grandparents. Absolutely, it's, it's it's a beautiful uh, water uh, dispense water bottle you've got there. It's fancy Thank though. I enjoy it. I have announced the candidacy for Texas state legislator. <laughs> Your landslide. I'm Johnny Walker, and I expect your vote. 